Hello, my name is Greg McGee and I am an artist in York and I need somebody to help me harness what hope is at this tough time. I can't think of a better school than Our Lady of the Rosary. I've heard all about your artwork. I'm looking forward to it. This is Christ at the Centre and Children at the Heart and I can't think of a better project than Hope in Art to prove the point. I thought we'd kick off with cartoons. Characters doing positive things and saying positive things to each other is a colourful and simple place to start. Firstly though, I want you to think about items of nature. My family love these projects. We've been out and we found some cow parsley, some twigs, some daisies, other wildflowers. What natural items can you find in your yard or your garden or in the park near Castle Eden Dean? Go and see what you can collect. So we thought it would be awesome if we mixed in the nature that we found in the area with our yeah, own artwork. Yeah. So let's go. One way of starting is to kick off with a cartoon character doing something that you enjoy doing in your school uniform, like rocking out. Come on. And then, using the natural items you have collected, add a tree or a church or a cross to reflect your school values, or some simple grass to suggest the background. There you go, these cartoon characters can be doing anything you want. They can be rocking out, they can be playing football with Peter Lee Town FC, they can be helping characters, isn't that right? Yes! Yeah. You're the artist, so you've got control of them. You make sure these are awesome. Woo. Using the natural items you have collected, you can bring your drawing to life. Grass and flowers can represent a pitch, twigs can make a goal. Twigs can also make a cross to go as part of your artwork. Christ is at the centre of everything Our Lady of the Rosary does. That was awesome. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Our Lady of the Rosary. You are giving us a great day by inspiring us. But before we go on and talk about how to draw cartoon characters, because I'm going to teach you a few tricks, we're going to look at the artwork created by your very own Mrs. Taylor and her two young artists. Woo! Hope is an optimistic thing. It means you're looking on the positive side of life. It means that when children are at the heart of art, like they are here, there's no limit to what you can create. Mrs. Taylor's two young artists use art that is mixed media and is as inspirational as anything I've ever seen. We've just been for lunch. I've done a little bit of research on Peter Lee. I've looked at the Apollo Pavilion and the artist Victor Passmore. Now Passmore, based his Apollo Pavilion on hope. He was fascinated by the Apollo 11 moon landing, which was all about optimism and hope. You're gonna build your own pavilion, but you're not gonna call it Apollo, you're gonna call it about what makes you tick? What are you hoping for? What do you miss? At the end of this lockdown, what are you gonna celebrate? It could be pals, it could be hugs, it could be your grandma, it could be walking the dog, but we're gonna build a collage that will change your life. Let's go. Right, the kids are here. Are you ready? Yes! I've got, another, I've got another child, he's not very well. Niall, are you ready? Too right. So let's rock. It's a good idea to prepare the paper first though. Fold it to give yourself a horizon and then get a wash on it, a simple coat of water. Then, while it's still wet, prime it lightly with paint. We're gonna go for an orange and a yellow sky to suggest the sunrise of hope. Remember Mrs. Taylor's young artists. Don't think too hard, be confident and be creative. We're gonna go for a curve of blue to suggest nearby water and simple green upright strokes to suggest a grass and nearby greenery. Now the Apollo Pavilion is kind of built on a long L. It starts like that and then the L goes on forever and I think we should start with that, we should stick with that. But then at some point you can have a curve or you can have three legs or you can end. I'll show you what I mean. Get the basic L of the Apollo down and then you have the freedom to cut whatever shapes you want. This is your collage, remember, so feel free to reimagine the pavilion. Tall towers or more legs or a longer bridge, it's completely up to you. Let's make Victor pass more proud. 
So you can paint these shapes whatever colour you want. You might want to paint them blue to suggest Our Lady, she's watching over you. Or you might want to paint them rainbow colour to go with the NHS, whatever colour you want. This is hope and these, this is your work of art. And once you have the shapes cut out and painted, you're ready to stick them down. I've gone for the L shape, like I say, and now I'm, I'm making it up as I go along and I'm actually enjoying it. I'm leaving sh uh, gaps between the shapes and I'm, I'm learning about shapes. I want you to learn about shapes too. Nature is organic and flows and is round and uh, architecture has edges and has corners and angles. So this is awesome stuff. I can't wait to see your work. That was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, I love the paintings. Now listen, Our Lady of the Rosary, thank you so much for letting us work with you. We're in York, we had a great time. We are absolutely buzzing. We're gonna go now, but before you go, there's a video here that we prepared earlier of how to draw manga, how to draw cartoons with McGee. Enjoy yourselves and we'll see you soon. We are going to go with cartoon characters. The best place to start with a cartoon character is the eyes. Come over here, come and have a look. Don't you worry about a thing. The best thing to do with features is just break them down into simple shapes. The eye looks like half of an egg with a black crescent inside. Draw the eyebrow, nice simple one and maybe a bit of a thoughtful one over here. And the ear is like half of a love heart with a question mark inside with no dot on the bottom and a little squiggle inside. And there's the nose and a big wide emoji like smile. You know what I'm talking about. Now the hair kind of looks like the leaves on a Christmas tree. There you go. If you wanted it to be a girl, feminize her with some eyelashes and make the hair a bit longer maybe. I'm not generalizing things here. I'm just talking about cartoons. And that goes like that, and there you go. She's beautiful! Now that's the face done. The figure's a lot easier than you think. It's bigger than the head and the limbs bend. The claws that are wrapped around the figure crease and wrinkle, so the lines need to be wobbly. Come over and have a look. So here we go. Now like I say, limbs bend, claws wrinkle. Don't you worry about the thing. Just make sure that arm has two lines, one, Two, it is strong enough to carry something. And this leg is strong enough to carry the body that is placed on top of it. So we've got the face, we've got the figure, now it's time for the colour and ink pencils. The best, one of the best things to do with flesh tone is to get an orange and then go really lightly on top. Then you go even lighter with the red. If your character is of a different ethnicity, get it brown and slightly drizzle a brown darker colour on top. Make it look really slow and sensitive. I want you to imagine the surface of the paper is too hot for the tip of the pencil so you are just gently colouring in all in one direction. Then you get the red and you go slightly, slightly red over the orange that you've already done. Maybe a little bit darker where the cheeks are. And then you get your finger and you smudge into it. That's how you blend the flesh tone. If you want her to be a bit darker, just a bit of brown on top. Who's gonna pass me a yellow? Not me. So I've got two blues and I'm gonna just very sensitively color in the limbs and the body. There's absolutely no need to damage the surface of the paper. And where the outlines are, you can go a little bit darker with a similar colour, so dark blue around the outlines, just to, to give it a bit of heft, a bit of 3D swagger. Now I'm 
really enjoying this. Creativity is what it's all about. Isla, can you pass me the black pen, please? This is the secret. Once you've got the colour done, once you've got the pencil done, you get the black fine liner or black ink, and you go around the side, around the outline, carefully. Woo! Get the black ink done after you've got the colour on, because if you try and smudge the drawing and it's got black ink on it, the ink will spread and it will muddy up your colours. It just won't look as good as it should do. Here is a speech bubble. You just draw the shape of an egg like that. You leave a gap for a lightning flash and the lightning flash goes to the mouth of the person who is speaking. You've already inspired my family. Our Lady of the Rosary and the motto, Christ at the centre, children at the heart, are great inspirations. Let's show the world just what the artists of this great school can do. I want you to draw it, I want you to photo it, and then I want you to send it. Artcamp at accordingtomcgee.com. Let's talk soon, I cannot wait to see your artwork. Woo!